Yes, here we are. My anomalies. Let's see how these turned out.
And here, the fragment of an ancient memory. Let it flow. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Now, to face our end. You made one on the far side of our doom. By trolls.
this hide. Fortress impenetrable. This is my skill. This is my curse. I am Orwick. You carry no blade, only shields. I am impervious to all but the iron of a true drinker. Ragnar Lothbrok knew this and bade me carry only boards as a challenge. Now he is gone and I remain. I wish to die, but I cannot, for he made me too strong. Now I spend my time longing for his company. You must have a weak point. None that I'm aware of. I was always the center of Ragnar's shield wall. He trusted me with the defenses of his great army. My flesh, scarred and trained by Ragnar, is now like an iron weave. It pains me. How can I join him if none can kill me in battle? I see no way in which this can occur. Unless you prove me wrong, fair challenger. Let me do the honor of breaking Ragnar's shield wall. I hope you will. Let me now prepare the shield wall. Lord Ragnar, will this be the day? Stand fast, warrior. And if Loki rules the day, you may have a chance. I am a fortress impenetrable. This is my skill. This is my curse. I am Orwin Neverdeath. I wish to die. Die now! Soul guide my blows. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good job. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. And I, you, 
I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the Pradoyjo and future and heen. And the sword Tawaloch in hope, a premonition. And the mount of scrying a foresight, Paratoivi, a sweeping adventure, meeting to. Tiur Enoid Valdemaral, a dean as strong, a buratiki, a quell as he fears, but Kalon, and head van derati. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let us head van Evangelion, Trevoid and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of feed and bith. This is the greatest day of my life! Embrace me, my love! <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. <laughs> Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. You've been among us for quite some time, Redda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer, always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this... feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. I couldn't be more happy to be here. Hope you never see worse than it keeps me so the years. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I, and not for lack of trying. <laughs> And how are the marriage customs in your country, Aitham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Come! Show me your valor in battle, and earn your place at the great table. Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the All Father's Hall. Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. 
I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. And V, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your friendship. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embraced more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. And what about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I want to say, Ranvi... I love you, and I have for some time. I did not pursue it, not wanting to betray my brother's trust. But that does not mean I did not desire it. Does that surprise you? Gods, I worried you saw me as a woman starved for the affection of her husband. ...that it was loneliness driving me. But it was you, Eivor. Only you. Everything you are, everything you will become. Randvi... ...without you I would have lost my way a thousand times. I never told him outright, but I doubt he will be surprised. I think he may have suspected it even... ...some time ago. If he suspected it, he never said anything. He is more observant than I often give him credit for. I believe he sees us as we are, and as we hope to be. We can wait to tell him. Give it a few days, when the feasting is over and everything is settled. Agreed. I have waited long enough for you, and you for me. What is another few days? The blink of an eye. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that? I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Volka, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... 
Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. Good <laughs> <laughs> 